Yo guys, what's going on? It is me, KLV, and today I'm going to give you five tips on how you can get your KD better in Rainbow Six Siege. So let's say you've got a 0 0.6, 0.8. The goal is to try and get you to get like a 1 KD or 1.1. Now, I currently have a 1.9 rank win loss with a 1.4. On my main account, on my Smurf, I have, I think I was a 1.5 with a 2.1 ranked win loss, but I'm currently Diamond 5 or Diamond 4. But basically I'm in diamond on my smurf with a 2.1 ranked win loss and a 1.5. Now I normally roughly range around 1.4 to 1.6 around that area and I'm going to give you my tips on how I basically keep that like KD around 1.4 to 1.6. So the first tip, very simple, is just warming up, okay? It is just what you should be doing all the time. So one, what I like to do to warm up is I go into arcade, set it all to free for all. I'll just play free for all, run free for all, and basically try and win three games in a row. Like, let's say I've took a break from the game. Uh, recently, I've been playing a lot of Diablo. So, let's say I've been playing Diablo for like a solid three days, not a touch Siege at all. I like to run, I'll run free for all, and then just basically try and win three games in a row. And if my I feel confident with my aim, then I'm like, right, okay, I'm ready for ranked. You know what I mean? So, run free for all. The reason why free for all is good is because it's against actual players. and it's just a really good way to walk. Another one, if you've like took a longer break, like let's say a year or something, is to go in T hunt, set it to elimination or disarm bomb. Both of them are really good. Um, disarm bomb, personally, I like to do because there's just loads of AI, loads of bots, so they can they all just come at you as soon as you plant the bomb. And there's like normally when I finish a disarm bomb, I normally roughly get about 40 kills. There's, there's a lot that you have to deal with so you're thinking about so much you're thinking about your positioning your crosshair placement and you're basically thinking about loads of things because once you've planted that bomb depending on the map i always do coastline by the way so let's say the bomb's in hookah obviously i've got bots coming from aqua i've got them coming from uh vase and 90 hallway so I, they're coming from three ways and you having to think okay they're going to push this way push this way crosshair placement your positioning really good one to do is disarm bomb on coastline the reason why i do coastline one it's a ranked map so you kind of should know your positioning and two it's just a good map it's a quick map easy map to do is quite small so i recommend doing coastline for that another one as well is doing the shooting range so the shooting range basically has the 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 third area now where i'm just going to go into and show you what i do for shooting range all right so for the shooting range what i like to do is i have it as these settings right here so it always set the target as dummy i don't really like using the balls because if you look at the balls right if we just look at the balls real quick this is very simple dead balls right it's good for like snapping i am kind of rusty i haven't really been playing that much today but it is good for like snapping the target and basically kind of just basically snap to it. Don't get me wrong, the balls are good for snapping to your target, but in my opinion, I do prefer the dummies a lot more better as they are uh, actual players. 100 HP, because you know they always have 100 HP. You could set it higher if you really want to, but 100 HP is fine. Headshot only off, min maximum of three, so you can actually still snap to them and not be too many. Um, idle, I set it as idle. Sometimes I set it to walk. I have a, depending if I wanted to like trace the target. If I want to trace the target, I'll set it to walk, run, or I'll just have it as random. So if I'm wanting to trace the target, if I'm just wanting to just basically be able to start to the target, I'll set it as idle. Now, the reason why I set it as dummy, right, is for a very simple fact, as the actual, the same size as normal characters, okay? Obviously crouch, this is why I have it as random, because I'm having to snap to different positions. So, you know, we've got the prone, standing, They're always different. They're not always the same. And just obviously trying to kill them really quick. And again, these are the same size as actual players. That's why I do prefer the dummy over the uh, balls because they are a lot more better. They're the same size as actual players. So getting headshots, for example, or getting the kills, you're going to get the actual kill in the actual game. Dumb is you're just getting hit in a ball and just having to snap to a ball when you're not, you're not going to be playing like this all the time. Okay? You're going to be spraying, you don't have to always be getting a headshot. Again, this is also a recoil control as well. So 
And let's go to the second tip, which is angles. So we can do this in the shooting range. So second tip being angles. Now what I mean by angles is holding angles, okay? Now, as a defender, this is what you should be doing anyway. You don't need to be playing so aggressive, especially when it comes to like, when you have like 30 seconds left, you don't need to be pushing, you can just be holding angles. But there's another thing with angles is perspective, okay? So if you're standing, like if you're standing right next to this wall, okay? Let's say standing right next to this wall, they're gonna see more of your body when they swing. If they're over here, they're gonna see my body. If I'm here, I'm not gonna be able to see them. Now, if I stand further back, they ain't gonna see me until they get up to this, until they get up to about here. So that with perspective, you having to, it's best to be further away from the wall than close to the wall. Cause if you're close to the wall, they're gonna see more. So say for example, you're like this, they're gonna see me if they're right there. They're gonna see me if I am, if they're there, they're gonna see my body, they're gonna see my gun, they're gonna know where I am. If I am further back holding this angle, they are not going to be able to see me from this. So when I'm going around the corner, I can just then go like that. You know, if I am right next to the wall and I want to go like that, if you see here already, when I'm wanting to turn, my whole body already is already. So if I'm looking at this, wanting to turn and go to that, my whole body is already in play. If I then go like this, yes, my whole body is in play, but it's a lot more quicker. And you see, I am getting to that position a lot more smoother see what i mean my third tip is over swinging so over swinging now don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong we keep swinging okay but there's a point where it's just annoying and really bad for you to do so what i mean by over swinging as well is when you're swinging don't push your body all the way out in the open when you're swinging do quick swings like this using your using basically the area of the map to your advantage so when I'm swinging around corners, basically I'll be quick swinging like this. I'll be quickly swinging around corners with my crosshair, changing different places. So I'll be quickly swinging around here because if someone starts pre-firing, I can go straight behind the wall. Okay, so I'll be quickly moving like this around. If someone peeks, I can go like that. This is normally what I do quite a lot is I'll quickly swing around this. As soon as someone peeks, I'll crouch and then center my, my lean. Because if I just crouch, I'm just not hit him. If I crouch, center my lean, I'll hit him. So you quickly swing. You know what I mean? Just simple like that. Just quickly swing in around the corners. And then also have your crosshair placement where they would always be. What comes into my fourth uh, tip is your crosshair placement. Crosshair placement is very, very key. I see a lot of times where people will be running or something and they'll have their crosshairs down here. What is this gonna do? What is this gonna do? I see a lot of players doing this from when I'm doing like LFG posts or when I'm like trio queuing or duo queuing and I see some randoms just sprinting like this. Now, if someone is gonna be in front of you, who are you shooting? You're aiming at the floor. What you want to be doing one you don't want to be sprinting that much especially when you're in the building a very key tip there is don't be sprinting so much in the building there's no need to be as soon as you're in the building you want to have your gun up all the time always be aiming around corners unless like let's say you're on villa for example your teammate has 90 and you're in study you can sprint around from going behind and then going to 90. that makes sense but if you're Let's say 1v5 situation, you're on your own. No need for you to be sprinting at all. Sprinting is just going to kill you. As if you're sprinting, you're going to have to get your gun up. If you're aiming around corners already, you're already aiming. All you have to do is just shoot. This, yeah, sprinting is going to kill you. But with crosshair placement, always try and aim, aim head level. was roughly about here. Now, if you go to a barricade, there will be a little Velcro, like little bit on the barricade around about this part. Of, basically, sensor user screen. That is basically your head level. That is basically your head level. And what you want to be doing is always aiming around there. Maybe even a little bit lower for a recoil kick. Because the reason why this is important and you want to win most of your gunfights is because the simple fact of in Rainbow Six Siege, if you did not know, if you shoot someone in the head, instantly dead. One bullet. It takes one bullet. Doesn't matter how bad your aim is, doesn't matter if you're hip firing, that one bullet lands on their head, they are dead. Simple as that. So if you're quickly peeking, for example, like this, right, like I said earlier, and you're aiming head level, and you just go like that, it's just, it just takes one bullet. 
this again i do a lot a lot of times i'm making a one tap video soon and you'll see that a lot of times i'll be peeking around corners like this and then i'll just it's going to be hard for them to kill me when i'm peeking around like this obviously i missed a couple bullets there but crosshair placement is very very important and try and always have your crosshairs always like this obviously when there's like a vault cam you're gonna to have to like look up or whatever but always have your crosshair placement always like this this again comes with muscle memory and just personally me knowing where head level is just already just playing the game so much but always have your crosshair placement like this all the time again going around corners as well make sure you're aiming where basically someone could be don't be aiming at the door like this when you're going around corners i know it sounds stupid but i've seen people do it before always have your crosshair where someone could always be again this is always with map knowledge as well so just basically when you're peeking around the door for example and knowing that the right there is where another door is if you see here again it comes a little bit with map knowledge but just always trying to aim around corners where someone could be it's like that very simple very simple tip and my fifth and last tip and this might sound stupid but kd doesn't actually matter now you're probably going to click off the video but let me explain let me explain so yes you see i've got a uh, 1.4 kd right but 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 what is more important than having a high kd is a game knowledge game knowledge is more important because if you know how to actually play site you know how to set up site you know call outs let's just say montane for example right and the Monta you're a really good monty player and your team is the one that's getting the kills and you're baiting your team you're giving pressure on the enemies because obviously let's say you're a monty on rafters and clubhouse and you're putting pressure on the enemy team on the azami or jaeger or whoever's holding rafters and clubhouse and you're putting pressure on them meaning that they keep having to look at you they keep having to look at the door at garage door on one about that you keep putting pressure you're not actually trying to get the kill because you're a monty if you're trying to get kills with monty you're playing monty wrong just saying and you'll just keep putting pressure and then you're telling your teammates oh he's looking at me he's uh, peeking now etc you don't have to worry about your kd you're a really good monty player you're playing supportive and that in my opinion is better than someone that is just keeps swinging everything like it's a lot of times on defense as well defense is easy right you have the time on your hands so very simple thing if there's like 10 seconds left a smart player a game of game sense wouldn't peek it they'll just hold an angle there's no need to peek it they have if to wait for the attacker to de defuse or the attacker's going to push you if the attacker pushes you and you're holding an angle and he runs into your angle that should be a free kill obviously people whiff every now and then but it should be a free kill i've seen so many people that have a high kd that starts pushing them there's no no point if it's 15 seconds 20 seconds there's no point pushing them I've seen this multiple times and it is really annoying that people just start pushing at 20 seconds on defense and they just go for the kill okay a lot this is happens with a lot of high kd players as well because they just want the kill they think it's team deathmatch especially on console anyway pc is a lot different than console from what i've noticed from when i play pc to when i play on xbox very different and sometimes on pc some people have a brain some people don't but it's it's play it's better to have game knowledge than a high KD. If you guys did enjoy this video and find it helpful, make sure you do drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It would be very much appreciated. Also, I do stream over on Twitch. Make sure you go check out the link in the description for my Twitch. And I also have a Discord that I am active on there as well. So if you have any questions, join the Discord and ask. I also do LFGs. You also get a notification when I stream. And yeah, I'm trying to build a little community in there. So... If you want to join the discord be part of it link is in the description down below same with the twitch make sure you drop me a follow and uh yeah see you guys later peace out